In Christianity, these rolls are usually eaten on Good Friday. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we'll be showing you a recipe for an Easter treat, hot cross buns. For this recipe, you'll need four cups of all-purpose flour, a third of a cup of sugar, one package of active dry yeast, one and a quarter teaspoons of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of salt, one cup of fat-free milk, a quarter cup of butter, two eggs, and finally, three quarters of a cup of raisins. Combine two cups of the flour, the sugar, salt, yeast, and cinnamon in a large mixing bowl. Heat the milk and butter in a saucepan. Make sure the milk doesn't boil and you'll know it's done when the butter is completely melted. Add the milk and butter to your dry ingredients and beat until just moistened. Now add the two eggs and beat until smooth. Add the raisins and enough of the remaining flour to form a soft dough. Turn your dough out onto a floured surface and knead until it's smooth and elastic, which should take about six to eight minutes. Spray a bowl with nonstick cooking spray. And then place your dough in the bowl, turning it once to coat. Now cover and let it rise in a warm place until the size of the dough has doubled, which should take about an hour. If you notice after the hour that the dough hasn't doubled in size, the next time you use this recipe, you'll have to proof the yeast based on the directions on the package. Once the dough has risen, punch it down and turn it again onto a lightly floured surface. Divide the dough into 18 pieces and shape each piece into a ball. Place the rolls in two 9-inch round pans that have been coated with non-stick cooking spray. Using a sharp knife, cut a cross in the top of each roll. Cover and let rise in a warm place until doubled again, which should take around 30 minutes. Once the rolls have risen again, beat together one egg yolk and two tablespoons of cold water and brush the tops of the buns with your mixture. Bake in a 375 degree oven for 18 to 22 minutes or until golden brown. Remove the buns from the pans and place on wire racks to cool. While you're waiting for your rolls to cool, you can make the icing. For this, you'll need a cup and a half of icing sugar, a quarter teaspoon of grated orange peel, and four teaspoons of orange juice. For some zingy icing, combine these ingredients. When the buns are completely cooled, pipe the crosses onto the top. For this, I'm going to use a Ziploc bag that I've cut a small hole in the corner. There are some superstitions surrounding hot cross buns. For example, if you share your bun with a friend, it will ensure your friendship for the coming year. 